I'm sure we're all familiar with traditional ERA, that being a projectile plate being propelled by an explosive one into a penetrator to disrupt it. While the design is very effective, particularly against heat projectiles, it comes with some drawbacks, namely collateral damage, storage, and handling issues. Likely following from this, Rymet Technologies developed a new design for a water-based semi-explosive reactive armor, which it filed a patent for in 2023. At the core of the design is a cassette consisting of a front strike plate of between 2 and 10 mm thickness, followed by a hydrogel layer 3 to 10 mm thick, placed in a polymer container. At the rear is a 1 to 5 mm thickness plate. The hydrogel layer also has tiny air pockets or energetic additives such as magnesium powder, depending on the configuration. Here's how the design would function. Upon penetration of the strike plate, the projectile will be blunted by an extremely high pressure zone created by the hydrogel. As it travels through the hydrogel layer, it would undergo further deformation and have its path disrupted by the pressure. The tiny air pockets or magnesium powder additives mentioned earlier would serve as energy absorbers and increase pressure in the system, further improving its effectiveness. The remaining energy will be passed through the deformation of the rear and front plate. Multiple cassettes can also be mounted side by side next to each other at an angle to increase protection in a louver style design. The main advantages are minimal collateral damage, longer shelf life and easier storage as hydrogel is non-reactive and has a longer shelf life than explosive plates used in the ERA. However, there are a few problems. Firstly, we have no protection figures, and while hydro pressure may be effective at disrupting shape charge jets, it's unlikely to give any serious protection against kinetic rounds. For the collateral damage mitigation, there are already ERA variants that place less explosive plates in a composite sandwich which mitigates collateral while retaining decent protection, such as the 4S24 ERA. At the moment, it's not conclusive whether the design is a good or bad idea. We'll have to wait and see if it moves past patent stage to make a proper conclusion.